now let's start with the second part of this tutorial so what we want to do is to, when we click on this we want this to enable this so let's come in here double click on this and the following lines of codes we enter the following lines of codes so let's indent it there so as you can see if that one is checked if it's true we enable the text box else enabling the text box become false and uh, the text box value becomes zero so I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other one so I'm going to just copy that let's come in here double click on the American and then paste that in there I just need to change the names around copy that it's America same thing here and there okay let's try it out and see what's going to happen all right click on that and click on the american one and check and check that is fine so what uh, what is left now is when we cl click on the text box we want the text box to set focus clear the system and set focus so let's repeat that for the american text box so the american text box paste that in the dot text equals clear and dot set focus right the same thing will be repeated for other components so okay there's something here we are meant to use different events so let's come back in there and use different events because we can't set focus without copy all of this and just cut it off we'll go back in there double click on it and select it or cut it off if you have a look at the very first one we used mouse down so in the American way let's change the event to mouse down there and now paste that in there and we can now try it out and see how it looks like all right let's run that there and there so when we click we can enter value in there and the same thing applies to this so i'm going to repeat exactly the same thing for the rest of this this and this and the ones on the other side so i'll just speed that up okay now we've finished populating these components each Okay, it's exactly the same lines of code for all of them just to decide which of the once this is checked and what will happen to the text box here and that is for the espresso and the same thing ap applies here okay but one thing that is left is for the text box I have completed one or two here yeah is completed setting them clear and focus so let me just copy that now come to the next one here paste that in there but the method we need to change the method really so let's come back in there and change the method to mouse down okay when mouse is down I would like veil to be cleared and force focus set on veil and txt veil all right that is taken care of now let's go to the next one we we'll repeat exactly the same thing for the next one that's cappuccino change the event to mouse down paste that in there and change that to cappuccino Okay, 
now the next one is ice latte that's it for ice latte yes okay and we have espresso change the espresso as well to mouse down change that to mouse down okay for the ice latte I just noticed I was meant to change that to mouse down the events let's change it to mouse down just paste that in there yeah that's fine Okay, let's go to the next one which is latte. Change it to mouse down and paste that right in there and just change the object to txt latte or just delete the eyes on it. Right. So I will now repeat exactly the same thing for the ones here. Okay, double click come in here change that to mouse down paste maybe copy this so that we can get it right paste that in there and change the name TST KC there so I will now speed that up Okay, the mouse, the mouse move events is being entered for all of the text box. Okay, so what will happen is when we click on any of these, that's what happen. You see, it enables the text box, and we can always select. Once we click on the text box, mouse down, that is what happen. Then you can then enter your the amount of whatever you want to get. So what is left now is we need to be able to click on the total button and that we add up all of these. So let's go to let's close that double click on total. Double click on that and right there. Let's declare the following variable. Let's declare one for tax. Let's declare that as double. Yeah. And now we're going to assign some values to that. Let's say the value for the tax is 0 0.45. Okay, then let's declare the following. I'm going to declare some variable for, for the coffee. And this is for espresso. Then I latte. Okay, here are the variables that I declared in the total, and I declared more variables here for both the cakes and the coffee. Now, the variables are then assigned values, and I I declare another variable here for the coffee and whatever I entered inside the text box I then assign to the declared variables here which I then use to which I then multiply with the values in here okay the same thing applies to the cakes and here These are the variables declared up there for the cakes. Here they are. Values are then assigned. Then the variables to store the values inside the text box. There they are. Okay. Now bring it down. And here those are the variables for the drinks. Service charge. If you are thinking of 
what are those and here they are drinks cakes and service charge all right let's go back in India double click on that then we close this okay there they are and here this is where I take care of all the calculations have a good look at it let's have a good look at it and there this one I don't I really don't need it that's just to just leave that in there it's right here actually all right then from here down all of them are then converted to pound sign there they are so have another look at it I'm just gonna take it up so that you see the beginning of the codes in total that's total itself now bring it down up to here I repeat the same thing here and there those are the lines of codes so what I would do now is let's give it a try let's click on those and we enter values in all and let's repeat the same thing for these ones I'm going to try test it all and let's click on total there you see that it works as expected so what I want to do now is to be able to click on the receipt and all of the information here will be displayed on the receipt so let's do that now so we close that double click on the receipt okay for the receipt and that is the first few lines of code then we just need to speed up the race and there we go those are the lines of codes for the receipt as you can see when you click on the receipt button it will actually clear whatever is in there the first time and there so have a good look at the receipt lines of codes just the receipt itself and there's a tab tab the title is called just cafe just do cafe then we have space and a space then carriage return and so on okay so let's go onto the program let's run it and see supposing I let me just show you guys the receipt that is the receipt okay in here maybe we need to move this let's move that and see what will happen let's go back into the receipt and just tab one more tab there we have four ready so let's see just one more tab and see what was gonna happen okay let's run it again and see if I click on that here yeah, have that in there all right now let's reset again reset and reset okay supposing we run the program let's run it and see what's gonna happen and we enter some value in there same thing for this one as for the as for the cake or the cakes here yeah. there now click on total there we have the total cost of everything and uh, although this tax is a bit small that's okay though click on that there and the receipt the total is not showing so I like showing down here okay so maybe we should delete one let's delete one 
close that give that a shot and come back here double click on that and just delete one of the tabs here yeah, hopefully that should do it okay we'll give it another shot and that is how you, do, you create your own cafe management system in excel using bba for your information if you would like to populate the excel spreadsheet itself i have a tutorial on board you can always do that yourself or have a look at one of my previous tutorial on how to click on a button and all of the components in here we populate the excel spreadsheet itself all right click on total add the receipts there guys and with that i'm going to call it the end of this very very interesting and beautiful tutorial and bye for now please do subscribe